welcome to a new video and in this one I'm going to show you the Scout to Sound plugin. Let's talk about what it is, how you might use it, how to install it and how to get it working in OBS. So let's start with the what is it. It's a plugin that you can add into OBS, attach it as a filter to a source, perhaps an image source and what it will do is depending on the volume level of an audio source the image will just scowl and get bigger and smaller based on the volume level. I can already think of a few ideas of how you might use this, perhaps for a, a, a speaker with the middle section pulsating in, in time to the music. don't know how well it would work with, with an, a beat, but it's worth trying. Uh, I'm going to try something slightly different with, with this video, um, a screamometer, uh, where the louder you get, the louder the bar goes up. Something quite simple, but if you're into horror games like I am, it could be useful. So let's talk about where we're going to get this from. We need to head over to the OBS website and grab the plugin from the website. The links for all of these things are in the description of this video, uh, as is the link to my Discord. So if you run into any issues with, with this in terms of setting up or struggling to get it working, feel free to drop a comment in the comments below or head over to my Discord, drop me a message there, or even head over to twitch.tv slash streams where I may be streaming right now, and you can ask me the question while I'm live on air. No pressure, I'm sure I'll be able to handle it. Anyway, as I was saying, we're going to need to get this plugin from the OBS website, so let's look at that. This is the OBS website, this is where you get all the resources, tools, plugins, you name it, you're going to go here to get them in most cases. And there's some really good stuff on there. It really helps pimp out your streams. But this one, this one came out a couple of weeks ago and there's already been a few updates. So uh, it's good to see that they're introducing new little customization features that will definitely go a long way to giving you the control that you need on this. Um, but it's also good that they're responding and adding stuff that people request as well. So if you're not, if it's not quite doing what you want, maybe drop them a line, ask them to uh, think about adding a particular customization option and see what they say. What we need to do here is uh, hit this download button on the right hand side. You'll be presented with two options, Linux, Windows. I'm using Windows, so I'm going to go for that. Hit the Windows download link, open the zip, and what you end up with is this. Now, in some cases with plugins, you will get an installer, an EXE that you can just run and it will take all the pain out of installing. It will just extract the necessary folders and files into the right location. In this case, and in many other cases when it comes to plugins, they don't come with the installer and you have to actually extract these folders into the right location, which is your local installation of OBS. What do these folders contain? So let's have a quick look. It essentially contains the DLLs. These are the libraries, the the um, the code essentially that, that makes this thing work. And over here, we've got a effect file as part of this. So we need to extract these two folders into the right location. And we do that by hitting extract. You will end up extracting it into your OBS Studio folder. And here's mine you want to basically extract it into this root level of your OBS Studio. You can see that there is a data and an OBS plugins folder there already. When you extract, it will just copy the necessary files into these existing folders. So as you can see, I've got various plugins there already. That's what you need to do. That's how you get it installed. Must say before you do this, and I should have said this earlier, make sure you stop OBS before you extract into this folder. Uh, once you've extracted it, then you can restart OBS. Right, what do we need to do next? Well, now that we've done that, let's head over to the uh, installation of OBS that I've got running here, and we can actually see it in action. So, as I was saying, it's quite straightforward, really. What we need to do first is add an image. So, my idea is that I'm going to create like a, a gauge that sits on the side of the screen and when the volume rises, when I'm talking and the volume rises, it will move a, the gauge up, it will fill the gauge up. So that's kind of what I'm going for. To do that, what I did was found a bit of clip art of like a thermometer gauge, um, edited that in GIMP or Photoshop, whatever you want to be using, however you want to do it. And I'll just pop over and grab that image now. Uh, I'm going to call this gauge. And I'm going to grab that from my 
video here, which is my quick test. So grab that, click OK. So we're going to resize this. To crop down like this, you can use the Alt key, the left Alt key. It's quite useful to be able to do that. So just drag in, because I don't want it to be that big. And the reason I've done this, if I scroll this, scale this down a bit, put that over here. Now this is very basic. If you're going to do this properly, you're going to take a bit more time on how this looks. But for this test, I just wanted to show you this, this is possible. So we're now going to add maybe a color source. I'm going to make this a red color source. So select color, pick the red. Okay, and we're going to need to first resize that down a bit so we can see what we're doing. And we're going to move the red behind that. So now what you'll see is when you move this behind, it fills the bar. And I did that by making this image here, this area here within that image inside GIMP or Photoshop. And I made that part transparent so you can pass through so you can see it. Uh, so now that we've got this, what do we need to do? So the next step is we need to go to here, click filters, add, and we're going to add the new scale to sound plugin. We click OK. And what we're going to need to do first is set the audio source. So for me, it's my mic input. Now I've got a lot of sources and, and even quite a few audio input sources as well. For this one, I'm just going to use my mic for recording option. And you can already see it kind of bouncing now. I'm going to set the minimum size to zero. So when I'm not talking, it will be zero, nothing. And when I am talking, it rises up to 100%. So now we need to set the audio threshold on this. And this, you're going to have to play this by ear because it depends on your, your natural volume levels and so on. Um, but as you can see, you can either set it really low down, which is going to pick up all the noise. See how long that took to fade away. Uh, or you can bring it back up and, and put it up a bit closer to the top end, like that. So now we've got this, you can see it bouncing around. And one other feature that I can show you in here as well is that, and this is one of the new features that they've added fairly recently, these scale width and scale height. Originally, you could only ever have it like this where the entire image scales from the center. Now, in both directions, now you can actually turn these off and say, well, I actually only want it to scale from left to right, you know, the horizontal. Or you can change that and set it to that and it's gonna bounce. And that's, that's kind of what we want. That's closer to what we're gonna want for this particular example. It's still going in both directions, top and bottom. But what we'll do is we'll uh, adjust using the um, cropping tool again in OBS so that the area that's that's going lower below that will not be showing and we'll only really get the top half of it so that's what we're going to do next we're going to just adjust this so that it goes through to about there and then maybe bring this one over because we only want this part and we're going to make this quite big so I'm just all I'm doing at the moment is just scaling it up dropping it back down i've made that way too big now so i'm going to bring this back again now uh bring that down so how close are we getting now clearly made that one too big so i'm going to bring that up, back up to that level bring that uh remove the crop crops too hard there we go now we're getting somewhere now you can see it's bouncing up and down uh, what what we need to do? Well, we need to test this out. I mean, you can already see that it's it's doing what we want. It's getting, and if I talk quietly, it's quite low. And then if I talk louder, it gets. It, I think we're already done. I think that was it. I don't think I need to do any more now. That's it. Easy as that. Right. Uh, but yeah, as I say, play around with it. You could try something like a speaker. Put the speaker with a uh, the bass bin in the middle, and have the the the, the speaker sort of bouncing. As, as the uh, the music is bouncing in times with the beat. As I said, I don't know how well it would work with a beat because it's based on volume rather than kind of the EQ levels of certain frequencies. Maybe that's something Maybe that's something we need to request. Who knows? Um, anyway, that was it. Very quick video on how to set this up. And um, well, I hope, I hope that was uh, useful. I hope you'll find... Uh, you tell me, what are you planning to use this for? Why don't you drop a message in the comments and tell me? That's it, and I will see you again in the next video. <laughs> That's exactly what just happened.
That's exactly what just happened. 